<laughs> well, what's going on guys? Camion Fitness here, back again with episode 10 of Road to the Stage. So, I've just woken up. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm feeling nice and fresh this morning, ready to go. And we are currently 20 days out. Yes, 20 days, just under three weeks ago till I'll step on stage for the first time this year. So in today's video, I thought I've had a few requests of people wanting to see sort of full workouts and I'm actually heading down to Ultraflex Durham today. So the plan is to record a full back session there and sort of explain through what, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, smash back. Obviously 20 days out now, so the training is probably the hardest part. I'll also be doing some posing while I'm there, as there is a posing room upstairs, which is fantastic, and has mirrors on all sides. So again, when I'm training by myself, it means if I go down there, I can get my posing done and keep on top of how I'm looking. But yeah, we'll be getting our posing done later on. So you've got that to look forward to, as well as a big, nasty back session. But for now, I have just woken up, so I need to go through, weigh myself, see what I'm wearing this morning and then yeah we'll get cracking with that day you know the usual obviously got my cardio this morning but now before cardio two mornings a week i have circuit training to do so today i've got my ab circuit training to do so what i'll do is i will get up do my posing well weigh myself do my posing first and then i will go downstairs do my ab circuit which is actually really good for the cardio because it gets my heart rate up to a decent level. So then when I jump straight on the treadmill, I'm not having to do that five kilometers per hour sprint that I've been doing uh, recently to get my heart rate up to the 110 and 120. It means I can be a little bit less fast on the treadmill as my heart rate is already sort of going from the abs and I'm already sweating really from the ab training because it's it's a pretty intense circuit. It's like a 12 minute rounds that I do just sort of re on repeat. And yeah, it's, it's definitely working, that's for damn sure. So let's get cracking with that. Let's go see what I weigh, and then I'll catch us on the treadmill. So, scale weight, 93 and a half kilos. Lightest I've been all prep, it's coming in. Ab training is completed. Got to look at that bed hair, I'll tell you what. I need to hop in the shower ASAP. Um, but yeah, so just finished my ab training there. 12 minutes on the circuits. For me, just hitting standard circuit training for abs, a quick 10, 12 minute circuit is what works best. It just seems to have brought them in so much. I've been doing it, like I say, twice a week now for the past about four or five weeks, like consistently. And on top of this, I do ab machines on every Wednesday's workout. So it's a Monday and Friday doing the, the circuit in the mornings. And then Wednesday is machines after my train session. So yeah, really happy with that. Coming on together nicely. Gonna smash out my 45 minutes faster cardio now. I'm just gonna mix it up, show you my back workout in full and sort of break it down with you. So let's get on with this cardio. Just arrived here at Ultraflex Durham. About to go and smash my back session now. So the time is literally just clocked on 2 p.m. I have had three meals currently. I've had my breakfast, then my first turkey and asparagus meal, followed by then the one with carbs, so turkey, asparagus, and the 200 grams of the jasmine rice. So that's what I'll be working with today. I've got my intro workout, which was in the freezer for the hour before. So it's gonna taste amazing. So I'll start off, I'm gonna do 10 minutes on the treadmill, get the blood flowing, get the body warmed up, get my head in the game. Think about, you know, my session that I'm gonna be doing, sort of plan it out uh, while I'm on the treadmill. I already kind of know what I'm doing, but I like to sort of go through the thought process of sort of my sets and rep ranges I'll be doing on each exercise and just really get in the zone. So that's always a nice way to start it off. So I'll start off with that, move on to my back workout, smash it up, and then I'll do some posing in the posing room to finish, followed by my 25 minutes post-workout cardio. I'll get all my shit now and let's get in there and get it done. So I'm just back here and yeah, this is the first voiceover that I've done for my back workout that I was doing here. So as you can see, what I've done is I've put in all the clips from this back workout and I'm just going to 
explain over the exercise choices, why I'm doing them, and yeah, just sort of the rep ranges that I've been hitting. So the rep ranges I've been going for recently being a lot closer now to the show, I have been going for slightly higher rep ranges, so you might not see too many low rep sets here, heavier sets. A lot of it's focused on just getting a good contraction while working the muscle and still going to failure or as, as close to on a lot of exercises as possible. So I start off here with a mag grip pull down. Now I feel like this is always a great way to warm up. I'll usually always start on something like this or I'll start on some sort of Dorian pullover um, or lat isolator they're sometimes called. And I feel like that's such a, a really good way to start off your workout, get the back fully warmed up and then moving on to the next exercise. So the next exercise is I'll either then go for sort of a heavy row, rowing movement as the second exercise or as the third exercise. Uh, and today I decided to go with it as my second exercise. So that was the heavy set there. And a lot on a lot of my training, I do a heavy set followed by a back off. So as you can see, this is now the back off set. And what I decided to do for today was just do a drop set on the back off. So my top set, I think, was there uh, four plates or three and a half, it might have been. And then the back off here, what I did was I do three plates and down to two plates, uh, down to a single plate. So drop sets are a great way of using different intensifier techniques to still work the muscle and to still go to failure, but also do it uh, in a different kind of way. So by throwing in drop sets, it means you're going taking the muscle to failure and then you're actually re taking the weight down and then hitting a second failure point while I was here anyways, followed by a third failure point, which is just going to emphasize that muscular development even further so. But what I've got to remember is a lot of these intensifier techniques are great when you're in your off season and you're trying to grow and build muscle. That's what they're mainly used for, in my opinion. And obviously with me being so close to a show, there's not too much muscle that's going to be built now so i'm not putting them in too regularly and it's something where it really is taxing on the muscle so you want to be cautious when doing this and make sure that you're not doing too many of them otherwise you can sometimes uh, overextend and the rest of your sessions are either going to be pretty naff and you're going to be pretty fatigued or you're going to feel it over the next few days on your cns or again, just overall fatigue. So that was that there, uh, quite a solid, nice set there, just sort of taking it right the way to the failure point. Then we moved on to this amazing prime row, uh, sorry, prime lat pull down. This is where you can plate load it in different positions. As you can see, I've sort of plate loaded in position one and three. So I've, um, ex I've plate loaded it a little bit heavier uh, when I'm in the beginning range because you're stronger there compared to the end range where you're going to be weaker. So it's sort of matching my, uh, or matching the muscle uh, and, and, and the alignment of the strength of it. So yeah, this set was quite nice. Uh, it feels amazing, this machine. The grips are, I absolutely love them. It's my favorite lap pull down I've ever used, I think. So yeah, it's a really nice one. Again, on this one, what I did here was I actually did a rest pull set, similar to a drop set. Um, you can sort of extend a set past failure by going to a failure point and then giving yourself, I think it was about 20 seconds I had, and then going in for another one. So we moved on from that lat pull down into a seated row. And on this seated row, I'm really trying to think about hitting that mid back. So I'm sort of really arching over, as you can see, uh, and then driving through my mid back and hitting that full range of motion and then coming down with it. Again, I did a lot higher rep set on this exercise, uh, which I usually wouldn't do. So the weight's a little bit lighter than what I would usually be using, but uh, it, it just feels so nice. Again, it's another bit of prime kit where you can plate load in specific positions. So I think I actually had this similar to the last one. I had it plate loaded in uh, position one and position three for pretty much the same reasoning. And yeah, this does really feel so, so smooth. And that is why train Ultraflex Durham is just such an advantage because there's so many different op options of kit that you can use for every single body part and they're even getting in new bits of kit now they've just got in a uh, i think it's called a extreme row which you will see in the future when i record another back workout so we we'll move on from that now into my final back exercise for this uh, back day 
So what I did here was a single arm high row and this is really to target the lat alongside targeting the upper back as well and I'm just basically taking it to a failure point and stopping there. I don't really like the force reps on these, I like to try and stay locked in as you can see I'm very locked in in the position on all my exercises to try and keep really good form and always stay locked in. So as you can see here I'm trying to keep as tight as possible and I'm driving through that elbow, driving the elbow down. I'm thinking about dri well, just thinking about driving through my elbow basically, don't think about pulling down, think about using that elbow and driving back with it. So that was the set there, I just did two sets here, um, straight sets, same weight, I think I was hitting around about 10 to 12 reps on these, and yeah, it felt really nice to be honest, actually I think this, sorry, this back off set here, I did do a lighter set, um, but it did feel really nice, and it was something where this workout, you know, I've been doing, I, what I do is I have a, a rotation where I'll hit sort of two, I've got two separate workouts for every body part or every day that I train, and this was sort of rotation two, with a little bit of adjustment, I have been making slight adjustments since getting closer to the show. I used to do, um, you know, like a, a bent over barbell row or some sort of rack pull or deadlift. But with being so close to a show, those movements are just getting weaker and weaker. And me and the coach decided it would make much more sense to be hitting machines where I'm still feeling good. I can still feel locked in and still feel strong. So that is what we've been doing and it's definitely working really, really well. I'm really happy with the progress we're actually still making. And the lines that are coming through now, I'm really, really happy with. So after I finish my back workout, um, I actually do shrugs on a back day uh, or some form of trap exercise. So I move on to the final exercise of the workout, which is barbell smith shrugs. So I just have a four plates aside here. I think I do what I do here is um, a little bit different. I don't do a top and a back off. I like to do two top sets. So these are the two top sets here on four plates. And then what I do to finish is I do a three plate drop set. So just three down to two for as many reps as possible. And that is my back and technically back traps and rear delts is what I usually would do. Um, but I've been hitting rear delts on my chest and shoulder day recently. So it's just changed to now back and traps. And I feel like with traps, one exercise is plenty for me. I always do it at the end uh, or most of the time at the end. Sometimes I'll start with it, but just do one trap exercise at the end and to, I always have sore traps the following day. They're always a body part which just seems to grow really easily on, on myself. So I don't really see the need to have that much volume in for them. And yeah, it's it's um, it's quite a nice way to finish as well. Just doing this little drop set. And I hope you have enjoyed this little clip of me explaining through my training. To be honest, I was a little bit rushed. I didn't realize by putting it on double speed how quick it was going to go through it all. Uh, if you'd like to see another one of these where I actually have more of an in-depth breakdown, then let me know. And what I can do is I can have it on so that, you know, I've got the actual pace of the of the reps is not, not speeded up. And then I might be able to explain through why, why a little bit more and exactly how I'm doing the exercises. But let's get on to my posing. So I hope you've enjoyed that little insight into my back training. Obviously did a little bit of a breakdown for you, talk you through what my sort of sets were and why I use those sets, why I use those intensifiers, as well as going through my posing. A little bit later on the later on the day now, just before bed, I've got my amazing ice protein powder shake thing. Don't know what to call it, but it's really nice and it's voluminous and I'm gonna get it down now before I go to bed because I am a very hungry man at 20 days out. 
literally guys they're under three weeks to go it's coming round i can't wait i'm really starting to get excited now i hope you can see the progress i'm making through my posing and you can still see the sort of intensity i am training at so i'm going to get this down now and look out for the next video so thanks for watching this is cam young fitness over and out peace <laughs>